In this review we're looking at a model of a complex tower crane. There's the picture of it on the box and it's the Liebherr 81K.1 fast erectoring crane. Well, I'm going to be reviewing this model. Turning the box round we see that it's made by NZG and it's model number 1051. The big box goes onto the weigh bridge and it's £4 2 ounces or nearly 1.9 kilograms. So let's open the box and see what's inside. The trays are taped together so when we cut that we can open up and see the parts in the tray. An instruction leaflet is included with the model and it's reasonably good overall, although it helps to have some knowledge of the crane and modelling. There's also a separate sheet containing another stage of the assembly. Turning over to the back page and the instructions move on to how to turn the model into a transport mode. Although again, not every detail is covered. Here is the basic crane as it comes out of the box and the jib sections are folded up and held against the partially extended mast and they're held together with our old enemy the twist tie. You need to make sure that the ropes are correctly running over the various pulleys and it's best to also make sure that the ropes on the winch drums are not tangled. For stability we need to add on the big counterweight and although it seems to be made of separate parts, they are all fixed together. Before moving on to extend the tower, we need to take off the twist ties and then fold out the jib. And this all needs to be done carefully without forcing anything. We then use the winding key to operate the winch. And that then slowly raises up the tower. And again, the best way to do it is slow and steady. Once it's extended to the maximum, you lock it in place with four plastic pins. And once they're in, they stay in place well enough. So here we now see the crane in its fully erect position. And we need to move on to adding the hoisting gear. Firstly, both winches are supplied with way too much rope, and it's much better to cut some lengths off. Here we're now reeving the hoist rope, and it goes up the back of the mast. And then it follows a complex route over the top of the mast and on to the jib. The trolley is most easily inserted at the hinge point, then we can run the rope over it. But reaving the hook is a nightmare. Here we're gently separating the two halves, and then you can see why it's so hard to reave. Of course, if you separate the hook like this, then it's at your own risk. But it does go back together easily. The hoist rope goes to the end of the jib, and it's better to make a little hook for it rather than tie it on. And we'll see why that's a better idea later on in the video. With the reeving done, there's a couple more things to do. We can stand the model on some metal base plates. And also included with the model are some lifting chains. And that's a nice touch, and really all crane models should have a set of lifting chains. This model is different from the previous version because the cab is a separate unit. And if you want to install it, it just hooks into place and rotates into position. Let's check the weight of the whole model. And it's about two pounds, 10 ounces, or nearly 1.2 kilograms. The spreader plates are well formed metal parts and the small pads are metal too. The support beams are nicely formed and there are visible screw jacks. On this side of the model there's a good looking metal cabinet and behind it there's a small access ladder. At the front of the mast is a ladder rising up to an operator's platform and on the other side there are a couple of boxes and also a beacon light. The counterweight block is coloured to represent concrete and there are separate step irons on each slab. They also have the Liebherr name cast in at both ends. 
The lattice work on the tower is all of high quality, and the metal guy ropes are accurately made of equal length. Moving on to the jib and the trolley motor and hoist direction motors are modelled and there's a leap air name badge. The supporting guy rods are made of metal, but they are thin and you might need to gently straighten them out of the box. The trolley and hook are also metal. The new designed cab is distinctive with heavily tinted windows. The geometry of all the supporting bars and pendants is very good. And the overall geometry of the jib is pretty good too. But a load on the hook would improve the look of the hoist rope. There are two transport dollies included and they are both made of metal. And that also includes the drawbar. There's also some nice detailing underneath for those times when your model is involved in a road traffic accident. <music> The model rotates and the trolley can be positioned by hand, and of course you can operate the winch. One thing to note though is that the model is on the limit of stability. This is a 10 gram load at the end of the jib, and if we increase that to 20 grams, it's no longer stable. In part that's because it's such a big model, so let's do a dim check. And in terms of height, it's about 2 feet or 62 centimetres. But if we go from end to end, it's about 40 inches or 102 centimetres. One new feature on this version of the model is that the jib has been re-engineered, and some of the jib sections have been pinned together. So if we relocate the tying off point for the hoist rope, we can then proceed to remove the last jib section. First we can take out the top pin, and then you need to ease out the lower pin which is slightly more difficult. But with that done you can take off the jib section and refix the hoist rope. And actually if you want you can shorten the jib even more. And here is the crane with a shorter jib and without the optional cab fitted. If you don't have the space you can always display this model as a transport load. And to do that you need to fit the two dollies. The two axle one is secured in place by four nuts and bolts and the tools for those are provided. And the front dolly gets pinned into position. The jib section we removed gets clipped in onto the side of the mast. So here it is all carefully folded up and it rolls along reasonably well. And if you've got a suitable truck, and this is an NZG model, you can make up a realistic looking configuration. Although the towing hitch is a very tight fit. You can't carry the big counterweight, but you can carry the cab. This model has lots of reworked parts compared to the earlier 81K model, and it's a good looking detailed model by NZG. However, it is a complex model and perhaps not the best for a beginner, as some of the assembly is complex and the model is delicate. But it is rewarding when it's assembled, so if you like tower crane models, this one is very good. Mm -hmm.